In our top story tonight, we have alarming new information about the current investigation going on at the Downard Funeral Home in Pocatello. Local News 8 reporter Cole Sams has more. On Friday, investigators completed their search warrant of the Downard Funeral Home, and what they found was quite disturbing. During their search, detectives found bodies in varying states of decomposition, as well as several human fetuses. According to Pocatello Police, some of the bodies have been positively identified and are now in the custody of other local funeral homes. The bodies that are still unidentified are in the custody of the Bannock County Coroner's Office. The owner of the funeral home, Lance Peck, has a previous record of misconduct since purchasing the funeral home in September of 2007. Peck faced disciplinary action from the Idaho Division of Occupational and Professional Licenses between 2015 and 2018. He was also reported by Idaho State University after they uncovered alarming information related to its anatomical donation program. The university had been working with Downard since 1996 and would receive an average of eight anatomical donations from Downard Funeral Home every year. But after Peck took over, ISU has received just nine total donations from the funeral home for his entire tenure. In May of 2020, ISU formally ended its working relationship with Downard. When Idaho State began working with the Wilkes Funeral Home in Chubbuck, the university notified all individuals who had filed an intent to donate form of the change in funeral homes. The university then discovered that some families believed the remains of their deceased loved ones had already been donated to Idaho State through the Downard Funeral Home but the university had no record of receiving the donations. It is unknown where those bodies are. At this time, no charges have been filed and the investigation is still active. Police say anyone who may have information on the case should contact police at 208-234-6100. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Cole Sams. Now, because of the sensitive nature of this investigation, Pocatello Police Chief Roger Shai has released the following statement. He says, we know there are a lot of unanswered questions about the case. Our department has those same questions. I want to assure the families involved and the public that the men and women of the Pocatello Police Department will be working hard to provide the answers.